tool wheel and bar house your favorite tools along with preferences for size, opacity, and smoothness. Each tool has its own set of sliders with four configurable presets to choose from. You can also use the sliders to adjust the values or reconfigure them manually with a tap and hold. Size simply controls the thickness of your brush, and opacity affects its transparency. Applying more or less smoothing makes drawing consistent, confident lines effortless. With high amounts of smoothing, like 50%, you really start noticing the effect as it becomes super easy to draw smooth curves like this. Making smaller turns, like when writing, becomes more difficult though, so it's better to have a smaller value for that. I recommend playing with this to find out the values that fit you, and then setting those presets on the slider. Personally, I like to keep the smoothing at around 5-10% to for writing and general use, or crank it up all the way to 100% for perfectly straight lines. Most brushes have other built-in dynamics as well. Just like a normal pencil would, the velocity, tilt, and pressure sensitivity of your stylus can affect the look of your line. Here I have the soft pencil, which is lighter at low pressure and wider when tilted. With something like the marker, you'll see how velocity changes things. Then there's the azimuth, which is the angle of your stylus in relation to the tablet. You can see the difference it makes when I change the angle along this curve while drawing. Note that these may vary based on the stylus you're using, but most styli nowadays support these basics. Some styli also support stylus rotation along its own axis. The overall pressure response of most styli can be controlled in the interaction settings. It's worth noting you can change the smoothness of any line after you've drawn it as well. Just select the line and move the slider.